beautiful little Chinese girl named Lulu and Lana came crying into the world as healthy as any other babies a few weeks ago. The girls are home now with their mom, Grace, and the dad, Mark. 英国 BBC 这样描述这则科技消息，仿佛晴天霹雳，让全世界震惊不已。更关键的是，这一消息来自中国。Grace started her pregnancy by regular IVF, with one difference. Right after we sent her husband's sperm into her egg, we also sent in a little bit of protein and instruction for a gym surgery. When Lulu and last lung. Was just a single cell. This surgery removed the doorway through which HIV entered to infect people. 这项震撼全球科学界的成果是由中国深圳南方科技大学副教授贺建奎领军完成的。他表示，共有七对夫妇参与了这次研究，丈夫都是 HIV 带源者，妻子则对病毒呈阴性反应。研究人员总共对三十个胚胎进行了基因编辑，而他们之所以这么做，并不是想设计制造宝宝，只是希望下一代能免受艾滋病的危害。I understand my work will be controversial, but I believe family need this technology, and I am willing to take the criticism for them. 中国官方喉舌人民网周一上午以“世界首例免疫艾滋病的基因编辑婴儿在中国诞生”为题，赞扬贺建奎的研究结果，意味着中国在基因编辑技术用于疾病预防领域实现历史性突破。然而，舆论很快就出现了翻转。It is unfortunate that his work has not yet been peer reviewed,、uh, and so there is not a an independent analysis of it by experts. So what Doctor He did violates the relevant regulation. Genome 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 modification by genome editing for prevention or Enhancement both will change the tempo of human species. Homo sapiens. How could Dr. He and your team change the tempo of human species without considering the need to consult other part of human species? People is not just a product. 你製造出嚟製出嚟，我就好似 iPhone 即係八就好過七十啊，好過八，即係有啲新 feature， 係咪一啲人係咪一啲咁嘅嘢？定人唔係嘅，人係一種其實關係嚟嘅，係即係人係一種人倫嚟嘅。咁呢個好好基本嘅，呢、這個就唔係顧慮嚟嘅，呢係一個價值觀嚟嘅。為什麼？整个大家的反应会这么大呢？因为贺建奎副教授所做的这样的一个，假如真的是成功的，这可是人类历史上第一个用基因手术甚至改变人类基因，或者说更极端一点，人类自身难道都转基因了吗？基因编辑的 Jenki 可视为是人类究竟该相信进化论，还是上帝创造论之彷徨迷惑的体现。目前各国都明令可以以研究为目的进行基因编辑试验，但不许植入生殖系统。中国的人胚胎干细胞研究伦理指导原则第六条也有相同的规定，但贺建奎却高调声称做出了机改宝宝。中国一百二十二位科学家连数强烈谴责他，犹如打开了潘朵拉的盒子，并且批评中国所谓研究的生物医学伦理审查形同虚设。让贺建奎得以直接进行人体实验，只能够用疯狂来形容。The world has moved on to the stage for embryo gene editing. There will be someone somewhere who is doing this. If it's not me, it's someone else. 贺建奎是中国八零后的海归，二零一零年拿下美国莱斯大学生物物理博士学位，并在史丹佛大学从事博士后研究。二零一二年，经深圳市孔雀计划海外高层次人才计划引进回国，落脚深圳。年仅二十八岁就成为了南方科技大学最年轻的副教授，并先后研发出三代单分子测序技术，同第三代基因测序仪，打破了欧美在基因测序上的垄断。央视形容他是世界基因界的新牛人，但他大胆张扬的行径。
最终让自己成了科学界的公敌。柯建奎这次使用的基因改造技术 CRISPR Cas9 这项技术最早是在1987年由日本科学家发现，对人类生殖细胞基因的编辑、编辑。这个问题和试管婴儿这样一类的创新技术，它有不同点，在技术上它没有太多的这个障碍。实际上，国际社会之所以不这么做，就是基于对伦理学、对整个人类、人类整个人类生殖细胞的一个安全性和整个的一个多样性的等等这样的一个安，主要是安全性这样的一个考虑。那么。没有这样做，所以他有各个国家呢，很多国家都有这样的伦理法律法规，包括我们国家也有相关的规范。这样的一个行为，它显然不能叫做一个创新，恰恰相反，它是一个违规和有悖伦理准则的一个行为。医界人士也表示，目前有很多防御手段能够保护新生儿不受艾滋病毒感染。根本不需要这样大张旗鼓、绕道而行。Talk about the institutional ethics process that you say that you went through. It's about how did you done the ethics review? How many institutions has been involved, and how was the process?、Uh, moved on to clinical trials.、Uh, I also consulted with several experts in the United States about the ethics and also、uh, this science. So and also the Chinese. 呃、uh, ，十一月二十八号，沉默了一天的贺建奎出席在香港举办的第二届人类基因组编辑国际峰会。If this was going to be your baby, would you have gone ahead with this? Okay, it's a、uh, that's good. So if if it's a、uh, my baby may have、uh, the same situation, I would try it first. 柯建奎说：“所有临床试验都已经停止，而他的团队也会针对基因编辑宝宝进行十八年的健康追踪。”他也强调，这次的研究纯属个人行为，与校方跟他的公司都没有关系。尽管承受万箭穿心般的责难，柯建奎却不觉得后悔。For this specific case, I feel it's a, I feel proud actually. I feel proudest because. The mark thought that he lost the hope for the life, but when the baby was born and with his protection, he sent a message at the day of birth, say, "I will work hard, earn money, and take care of his two daughters and his wife for his second half life." 贺建奎用这样的伦理原则自我辩护，但仍难度悠悠之口。这次事件性质极其恶劣，严重损害了中国科技界的形象和利益。我们对涉事人员和机构公然挑战科研伦理底线、亵渎科学精神的做法表示愤慨和强烈谴责。科技部已经要求相关单位暂停相关人员的。科技活动，开展任何科学研究和医疗活动，都必须遵照有关法律法规和伦理准则。德国伦理理事会主席达布洛克批评贺建奎的行为是对科学的侮辱，是不负责任的人类试验。毕竟，这是对人类生物学基础的干预，不仅涉及到某一个个体，也涉及整个人类子孙后代。然而，最无辜的还是在实验室里出生的露露和娜娜。他们终身都要被视为实验品，贺建奎能为他们的人生负责吗